Well, you're back for another video with me, Cool Dude Clem. I've managed to get my HD camcorder working again, so I'm using that now. Now, we're going to do a very strange experiment today. You see here I have a reel of tape and a cassette. I thought of taking the cassette, um, taking the um, tape from the reel of tape and putting it in the cassette and seeing how well it works. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do this directly because... If you compare the two widths of tape, you maybe you can see that the tape from the real reel to real tape is much wider. It's almost twice as wide. So I'm going to have to cut this to size before we can um, before we can put it in the cassette. But anyway, first things first, got to make sure this is rewound. Our next thing to do is obviously undoing the screws so we can get the tape out of the cassette because we won't be using that. Or I should say I won't be using that. So there's the cassette shell opened up. For those of you who um, don't know what's inside a cassette, well that's what you'll find. Now we do need to save the spools. We can take the tape off, unclip the tape. Anyway, the next thing to do is to cut this tape to the right width, wind it onto the uh, spool there, and get another spool and put it in the cassette and um, see how well it works. So I've come to the end of the uh, piece of tape that I um, unwound from the reel. Now I'm just cutting it to the right width with scissors, as you can see there. So now we have tape that's um, approximately the right width to be um, to go into cassette. Now I've got to make sure which is the shiny side and which is the dull side, because I want the dull side facing outwards, because that's the side that's got the magnetic surface on it. Now I'm just going to put it onto this reel. So there's the tape from the reel to reel tape now wound onto the um, cassette reel. Now I'm going to take another one of these um, type spools here with a nice big clip thing on it and clip the other end of the tape onto that um, reel, then reassemble the cassette and put it in the cassette recorder and see if it plays. It's a bit thicker and thinner in places than it should be, so I'm not sure if it's going to go through the um, cassette recorder all right, but we shall see. Okay, now the cassette is ready to be put back together again. Let's um, put this cassette back together and see if it plays. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work, or if it does, how well it's going to work. The tape may get stuck, it may play. We'll just have to see how this comes out. Okay, so now the tape is in there. I did play it, um, but the camera wasn't recording, so uh, I have to do it again. And the tape did stick, so I've taken the um, so I've taken these two bits out, so that there's there's more room inside the cassette. So let's play it and see what we get from it. Because I've got it wired to the um, uh, um, to the recorder that's recording the sound. So let's see what we get. <laughs> There you are, there's, there's the reel-to-reel -reel tape being played in the cassette recorder. As you can see, it's only registering on the left meter. But anyway, let's um, make a recording on this tape now and see how good it sounds. So now I'm going to make a recording onto the cassette that has the reel-to-reel -reel tape in it. So, let's record and hear how it sounds. So I'm now recording on the reel-to-reel -reel cassette, um, well, you know what I mean, the cassette that has the reel-to-reel -reel tape in it. So, let's play this back and hear how it sounds. And hear how it sounds. So I'm now recording on the reel-to-reel -reel cassette, um, well, you know what I mean, the cassette that has the reel-to-reel -reel tape in it. 
recording at a good level, not overdriving the tape. And I have absolutely no idea how old this tape is, probably from the 60s, maybe even from the 50s. I have absolutely no idea how old this actual tape is, but anyway, let's play that back now and um, hear how it sounds. So there you go. That's reel-to-reel -reel tape in an ordinary compact cassette. As you heard, it didn't make a very good recording. I think that's because that particular type of tape is not formulated for use in cassette decks. But anyway, I thought that would be a, um, kind of an interesting experiment to try out. That's just about it from this experiment, so until next time, goodbye.